Hey guys, welcome back to our channel Stock My Closet. Today I'm sharing trendy A-line kurti with inverted box pleat detailing. Best part is you can wear it as kurti as well as dress. So let's get started. This is a measurement I'm using. You can adjust it according to your requirement. For this project, I have taken 2.5 meter cotton fabric, and this white fabric is just leftover piece. Firstly, I'll cut the back bodies. I've cut out the required length and width, including seam allowance, from the fabric, and I have folded the fabric by half in width. Now I'll mark the measurements. For shoulder, take half of shoulder width. In my measurement, shoulder width is 13.5 inch, so half of it is 6.75 inch. Neck width is 3 inch. Mark half inch downwards for shoulder slope and join it to the neck width point. From this point, mark half of armhole round. That is seven inch in my measurement. I'm deducting half inch as this is sleeveless kurti. I'll just extend this point. Mark one inch inwards and join it to the shoulder slope point. From the top, mark a point at 10.5 inch, shoulder to burst point. Fourteen inch, shoulder to waist point, and twenty one inch, shoulder to hip point. Extend these points. Now I'll mark the round measurements. For chest, I'm adding two inch of ease. In my measurement, chest round is thirty one inch. Thirty one plus two is thirty three, and dividing it by four, I'll get eight point two five inch. For burst, I'm adding three inch of ease. In my measurement, burst round is thirty two inch. Thirty two plus three is thirty five, and dividing it by four, I'll get eight point seven five inch. For waist, I'm adding three inch of ease. In my measurement, waist round is twenty eight inch. Twenty eight plus three is thirty one, and dividing it by four, I'll get seven point seven five inch. For hip, I'm adding four inch of ease. In my measurement, hip round is thirty eight inch. Thirty eight plus four is forty two, and dividing it by four, I'll get ten point five inch. Join these points. Give slight curve to this pointed shape. Length of kurti is forty one point five inch. Extend this point. Bottom round measurement is thirteen inch, around three inch more than the hip measurement. I'm making it A line. You can make it straight or A line as per your choice. If you make it straight, then don't forget to add slits on the sides. Now join hip point to the bottom, adding seam allowance. Now I'll draw armhole curves. Marking is complete and I'll cut it. So this is the back. Now I'll cut the front. Again, I have cut out the required length and width from the fabric and I have folded the fabric by half in width. Now from the unfold side mark a point at half inch
join these points. And cut it from the center. Now taking this line as center, place the back like this. And now I'll cut it. I've cut this white rectangular piece, length is same as of kurti and width is 10 inch. Now width of this fabric depends on the size of pleat. So take it more or less as per your choice. And with this cutting is complete, now I'll stitch it. Firstly I'll attach white piece with the front. Join both pieces right sides together and make a stitch. Overlock it. Similarly, I'll attach other side. So I have attached the white piece. I've kept the seam launch direction towards the white fabric and I've ironed it. Now from this line, neck width is 3 inch. Neck depth is 7 inch adding half inch for seam allowance. From this point, mark 9.5 inch downwards. Now from the top, I'll make a stitch till this point and rest will remain open. Match both stitch lines and the maker stitch. So I made a stitch, now join white fabric center point to the stitch line or the center of the kurti. And make a stitch to secure it for a while. So this is inverted box plate and I have set the same crease with iron till the bottom. 
Now I'll cut the neckline. Neck width is 3 inch. From the center, mark 3 inch on both sides. Neck depth is 7 inch. Adding half inch for seam allowance. From this point, mark 2.5 inch on both sides. And join these points. So this is neckline shape, you can make any desired neckline shape. Now I'll cut it. To finish the front neckline, I've taken a piece of same fabric as facing. So I finished the neckline. Now on the closed part, I'll attach these buttons. And this is how it will look. Now I'll cut and finish the back neckline. Neck width is 3 inch. Neck depth is 6 inch, adding half inch for seam allowance. Again mark neck width point and join these points. Now I'll draw a round neckline shape and I'll cut it. I'll finish back neckline with the bias tape. Place the tape on the neckline right sides together and make a stitch. Now fold it like this and make a stitch on the inner edge. So I made a stitch, now I'll trim the excess fabric. So both front and back necklines are ready, now I'll stitch the shoulder slope on both sides. And I'll also finish the armholes with the bias tape just like the back neckline. So I've stitched the shoulder slope and I've also finished the armholes. Now I'll finish the bottom of the kurti. Just double fold the fabric and make a stitch. I'll leave this white part, I'll do a hemming later. Similarly, I'll finish the back bottom round. Lastly, I'll stitch a side fitting seam on both sides.
and with this my kurti is complete and this is how it looks i'll just hope you will like this video if you do please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family and do subscribe our channel for more such videos i'll see you soon till then take care bye bye